Hey guys, Barbecue Bros back at you with another video. Um, wanted to start trying to uh, add some uh, different material onto my channel and so uh, one thing that I haven't done yet is a dessert and so I've got my lovely wife Jen here um, and she's going to walk us through an amazing dessert. So go ahead Jen and take it away. Okay, this is one of our favorite desserts and it's, um, it's a real crowd pleaser and it's super easy to make and it's actually really quick too. There's just a couple things that you have to remember in order not to get yourself in a jam if you're making it for a party, which we're going to a party this afternoon, so we're making it for a tailgate. Um, this is going to be a trifle. It is a Heath Bar, white chocolate, brownie, just absolute deliciousness trifle. So the first thing you're going to want to do is bake your brownies beforehand. The brownies have to be absolutely cool before you do this or everything will just be a, a big soppy mess. So bake them 13 by 9. You want them thin because you're going to, as a trifle is, you're going to layer them. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut up this and then after I'm finished with this, I'm going to do it in like three quarter inch sections here. And then after I get this ready, I'll walk you through this, the ingredients for the next steps. And Honestly, any brownies do for here. Just do whatever your favorite ones are. I actually really like the ones that have the little chunks of chocolate inside, um, which just sounds like a silly thing to say. Who wouldn't like that? Okay, so my brownies are cut and ready, so that's going to actually be the first layer of my trifle. But before I do that, I'm going to mix up all of the goodness that's going to go on the inside. So what I have here is I have just a box of the vanilla jello pudding. So just a small box. This is the one that is um, 3.4 ounces, not the large box. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to beat that with milk. And it is one and three-fourths cup of milk. So I'm going to put those together. And I'm going to beat it for two minutes on a low speed. So just two minutes and it'll, it should come up to a nice consistency for us. Again, that's on low speed. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. And now we have this nice jello consistency here. All right. See? Nice consistency. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fold in one eight ounce container of Cool Whip. I said there were two things you had to remember to make sure you don't mess this up. Make sure your Cool Whip is thawed. Because if it's frozen, you're just gonna you're gonna be out of luck, and you're gonna have to sit and wait for a while. So I'm gonna gently fold this in. I'm just gonna do a part at a time. And you can see why everybody loves this. We've got brownies, you got Cool Whip, we've got Jello pudding. All right, let's keep mixing this in. Okay, and you can see how nice and fluffy this is getting. You can just see how easy this is. This is the easiest dessert and it just, it looks so pretty when you're done too. It's a nice way to step up brownies really, really quickly without a lot of effort. Alright. Okay, so you can see, I still have a few lumps in there. I'll let it sit for a minute and then I'll stir it a little bit more. I don't want to stir it too much because I don't want it to lose its fluffiness. Okay, so now the easy part of the trifle. We are just going to start layering. Okay, so we have we have a trifle bowl. You can always use um, you can always use any glass bowl. Of course, you could do it in any kind of container, but it just looks so much prettier. It looks like you put so much more effort into it if you just put it in a nice, pretty glass bowl. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer the brownies that we made and cut earlier, and then we're going to layer the Cool Whip Jello mixture, and then we're going to do a layer of Heath Bars. And I was lazy today. Sometimes I'll take Heath Bars and I'll uh, puree them. I just grabbed the ones that are in the baking aisle today. So it makes a little bit less chocolate if you do it this way, but I got really like extra chocolate fudgy brownies, so I think it'll be okay. And then just the white chip morsels. So the order we're going to do it is we're going to do brownies first, and they don't have to be pretty. So you just want to layer them all around, make a nice surface. You can do as many layers as you want. I think three fills everything up nicely. Um, 
I'll tell you a trick too. If you find yourself running short with brownies, and you can see I made these extra gooey because they just well, they just work so nicely that way. So you don't necessarily, if you start running out of brownies, you don't have to fill the middle in. You can, but it won't take away from the look if you don't. Okay, so I have that. Now the next layer I'm gonna do is gonna be a nice cool whip pudding layer. And you can be as neat or as messy as you want here. The neater you are, the prettier your trifle is going to look. So if I'm in a real hurry, it doesn't stack beautifully, but if you take your time with it, then you can get a really nice result. Because the nice thing about the trifle is getting a good, pretty stack on the side so you can see it through the glass bowl. Okay, so the next layer, I'm going to sprinkle in heat bars for the toffee bits. And again, get some on the side so your guests can appreciate how pretty it is. And now you can use, you're going to use about a third of everything each time because I'm going to do three layers. So that'll be my math lesson for you guys for today. All right, and then the white chips. And there's something about the white chips that just make this so good. Of course, you can substitute any candy bar you want in here. You could substitute any kind of. Um, flavor of pudding. You can put cookies instead of brownies on the bottom. Alright, let's do another layer of brownies. And I'm going to just keep building it out here and then we will show you the final product when I'm done. Alright, we're almost done. So as promised, I did a, another layer while well, you guys we're waiting, little did you know. So this is the last layer. I like to put a nice thick layer of the Cool Whip pudding topping on the, on the top just because it looks so pretty. Alright. Alright. And in case you haven't noticed yet, when I'm spinning this around, I'm spinning it by the, by the base of it. Because the last thing you want after all this nice layering is to put your fingerprints all over it. Just another pain to have to take care of. Alright, so now we're going to put the last little layers of heath on here. Now remember that everybody gets to see this one, so make this one pretty. And then I'm going to put some, I'm going to put the chips on and I'm going to sprinkle a heath again on top since it's smaller and it'll show through a little more. Now if you had a different color pudding, this might look even prettier. Um, just the white on white doesn't give it quite as much definition as it could have, but it's going to taste so good. Nobody will care. Okay, now the final thing about this is it needs to sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. And the longer it sits, the better it is. So I would give it at least, I would probably give it at least two hours before you serve it. And then it's so good the next day. All right, so there you have it. So I'll tilt this a little bit so you can see the top. Okay, and you can see around. And if you use thicker brownies, you'd have thicker layers, so it's totally up to you. But that's it, quick and easy like I promised. All right, so thanks a lot to Jen for doing this Barbecue Bros video today. and making a nice little dessert. So appreciate all you guys watching. Hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you again soon.